Okay, today we are going to look at uh, HD Insight, how we can install the Microsoft HD Insight Hadoop SDK. So first what you have to do is you have to go to hadoopsdk.coteplex.com and then scroll down. When you scroll down you would see a link for installing Hadoop on Windows. You can obtain Hadoop by installing Microsoft HD Insight using Web API. When you click this HD Insight link, basically it would download the uh, web installable. You click on this and launch it. Once you launch it, uh, the web platform installer launches. Basically, uh, here uh, it's Microsoft HD Insight Developer Preview. You can see one item to be installed uh, and all you need to do is click install. When you click install, here it asks for the terms and conditions. You click I accept and the installation starts. Uh, one thing that you need to keep in mind is this is a Hortonworks data platform for Windows. So when you are installing, you need to make sure that you don't have a duplicate version of Hortonworks installable on your machine because then it would uh, conflict with that. So the Hortonworks uh, provides its own uh, installable. For example, you can go to www.hortonworks.com and Hortonworks has a link for installable so you could go to products uh, and download and install Hadoop so you could do the installation from there but that would not install HD inside platform so uh, today what we are doing is when we install this it would not only install Hortonworks Hadoop platform but it would also install uh, Microsoft HD Insight uh, Software Development Kit uh, for Windows Azure platform. Let's go and before by the time it installs, let's go and take a quick look at this. Um, so if you look at uh, in the when you go back to the hadoopsdk.coteplex.com, uh, here you have a roadmap uh, and click and click open the roadmap in the new tab so basically as you can see the uh, roadmap still says that the version 1.0 is yet to be released so the SDK that is now downloaded is really a uh, developer version it's not yet completely stable um, so Microsoft is working on um, uh, releasing a stable version in about three to six months time frame. So that would be probably towards the end of the year 2013. Uh, you can also commit uh, to this uh, SDK. So in the new SDK that would be released, there would be a link to Hive job submissions using API and web HDFS client. So uh, let's go and take a look at how the installation is going on. So the installation seems to be at 49%. Uh, I think it's going to take a while. So what we'll do is in the meantime, I'll pause the recording and once we reach towards the end, we'll catch up again. Okay. Now we are, uh, now the configuration is done. Now we can click the continue button. Uh, and now the following products are successfully installed. Just ignore this for now. Uh, Hortonworks data platform for Windows developer preview, Microsoft uh, HD inside developer preview. So both Hortonworks data platform and Microsoft HD inside developer preview is complete. So click finish. Uh, and then uh, you, it will also display you all these additional tools uh, to install, like command line tools, uh, Python tools, uh, Azure SDK, uh, and Microsoft Web Matrix. 
um, <laughs> now you can ignore this and exit uh, to install the, you can install all these things but you if you have visual studio installed on your machine let's click exit uh, and let's take a look at the status right uh, so if you see you will have a hadoop command line uh, available on your desktop so if you look if you load the command line you can see that it is there and you could kind of uh, Hadoop uh, and see that it's in the path and it's working uh, and if you go to the C drive you can see Hadoop and Harton works installed if you click Hadoop you can see the HDFS primarily uh, the uh, Hadoop uh, distributed file system and you have H catalog Hive, Uzi, Pig, Scoop, all these uh, tools are installed along with the uh, Hortonworks. Uh, so now you can go to the browser and type in localhost 50070 and click enter. You can see that name node for Hadoop is available. It's listening on 8020 port. Uh, and you can browse the file system, name node logs, and everything. Uh, let's go and see if 8020 port comes up. Uh, it says no data received uh, probably because it's nothing is working uh, and other thing that you could do is you could go and check the services uh, let's go to service manager, sorry not service manager let's go to service system results okay. loading the system is a little slow. Uh, <coughs> in the services, you can see the all the tools installed: Apache Hadoop data node, or Derby server, history server, Hive server, Hive, anyway, and then meta node, name node. So these two are pretty important: name node and data node. And all the service, these are all the other tools. You can see the entire. Uh, Apache Hadoop stack uh, installed uh, as part of the services. So, and they're all started. Uh, so, there we go. That's how we install Apache Hadoop uh, from Hortonworks along with the uh, Microsoft HD Insight uh, preview development platform. Thank you.